Hi everyone, bonjour tout le monde. So, we're going to uh, talk about infrared and we're going to talk about, and I will more during my live stream, thanks for being here everyone, talk about the new infrared camera that I'll, I will be buying. I bought one, my big mistake, almost $400 and uh, I did want to do tests but the infrared was in no way strong enough and nor was it a third gen infrared camera. So looking at second gen cameras, anywhere from six to a thousand dollars, six hundred to a thousand dollars, I think American. Um, I'm also going to talk to you guys uh, in the live stream about how Canada cannot order military grade equipment and have sent here. It's illegal. And I'm looking at all these things and different things that I can or cannot do. There's obviously some areas here in Canada, but yeah, just to let you guys know, uh, looking into second gen and also third gen and very seriously and third gen can be anywhere from a thousand i guess to four five six thousand dollars it doesn't stop different accessories head helmets some that go on military weapons or, or, or you know i mean it's amazing what you can get i am looking into it i spent the entire afternoon uh studying and um examining exactly which model i would one a need and the proper models and what their capacities are because it's not always easy trying to find the proper reviews out there but um, be positive everyone that i'm i'm looking and the one i have right now is exceptional but it's going to be even better the one we're going to get and we're going to keep this one too and in the near future we're going to have some amazing uh, infrared equipment even better than the one we have here to be able to see everything that's out there and this model has very uh, particular functions it can record infrared night vision at the same time during the day daylight and in color and it records also audio takes sd cards it's really overwhelming turning one of these on and i'm telling you because this one films in 720p and it's not third gen it does gather up a lot of low light so we're outside in the dark you have a couple of buttons one two three four five six functions the power on top you have a zoom in and zoom out there the infrared there the brightness on the right that simple different three intensities and you record so once you're recording it takes three seconds when you turn it on for anything and everything that's in the sky to show up real quickly and they're trust me not hard to see three intensities of infrared I have infrared zero infrared one infrared two and uh, those are different settings, of course, depending on what lights are in your surrounding area. For example, if you're in a very bright city, you would use the infrared zero, low light, and infrared two for areas of complete darkness. When you look for a camera review online, often you don't get the information that you really want to know. So this is an object going by. To show you how strong the camera is, you see the star there on the right, you can see the object going by, but you know the atmospheric disturbance in the back, all those stars? Look at that. I brought all the, the stars down by almost completely entirely gone. We can still see that object going by. So it even picks up flashes, every flash, any object going by, even when taking down the exposure. And that gets um, rid of all the interference, like you're seeing here. But 
you can keep it there a little bit, the interference, because it goes and gets more light. But once you capture the object in your footage, you can take down the exposure like this. And look at the beautiful image it gives you. It gives you just the stars that are bright enough for you to see. A very rare moment where I was able to capture two tumbling asteroids. And uh, yeah, planes don't spiral. Neither do bugs. <laughs> it's a lot bigger than a bug. It's amazing to be able to have been able to capture it. So then we want to look at the moon. So what I do is I zoom the edge, outer limits of the moon that you see there on the bottom right. Watch it flare up and what happens. On the left, you can see Taurus there, all beautiful stars there. Now you can see an object coming from near the center of the surface of the moon and over top anyway so listen look at it any uh, way you want it's between earth and the moon if you want okay but it's there and it changed the intensity of the light of the surface of the moon and the way my camera was capturing it or and or obviously more light gathered these cameras are amazing i'm telling you there's a deliberate reason why the 720p uh, gathers more uh, that it's optimized to gather low light it's an amazing camera. In the chemtrails, very rare in lower Earth or, or orbit, I'd say more like in our sky, this massive floating piece of rock that I was able to see. Why is it that we see these planes flying over the sun or flying over the moon and exactly directly along the elliptic? The infrared wavelength is a way to measure the heat radiated by an object. What an object is not quite hot enough to radiate visible light. The infrared camera will show us that light. It will emit most of its energy in the infrared spectrum. For example, hot charcoal um, on a barbecue may not give off light, but it does emit infrared, which will, to us, physically feel like heat. Infrared in the medical field. A light therapy device like a Juvie delivers red and near infrared wavelengths directly to your body with medical grade LEDs, of course. These photons of natural therapeutic light produce a chemical reaction in the mitochondria of your cells that boosts energy production and regeneration. Houston, say again, please. <laughs>